So here's would be good starting materials for base catalyzed transesterification. So let's see if we can decide what would happen first here. So far, we've done one example of hydrolysis. I think we showed how to hydrolyze a, uh, a anhydride. We did it with acid or? Well, remember that when you're working with an anhydride or an acyl halide, you don't need catalysts because these are from the top. Right, so we actually haven't used. done any, uh, we haven't shown any uh, cat catalyzed hydrolyses yet. Maybe after we show the cat catalyzed transesterification, we should okay. also show the channelized hydrolysis. So there definitely are a lot of different variations here. Okay. Um, so here we have uh, this. So, so what should happen first? Should it be protonated? From whom? Is that an acid? So acids tend to protonate things. This what type of functional group is this? Base transfer. Oh, that's ethanol. That's an alcohol. That's right. Now, are alcohols acid? Well, they're certainly not strong acids. Alcohols are definitely not strong acids. Uh, so there's no particular reason to think that we're going to start with the protonation. Uh, alcohols don't go around protonating things unless uh, the things are very basic. Uh, remember, who did I use as a catalyst before? I used hydrochloric acid. That's definitely a strong acid that wants to protonate somebody. But an alcohol is not a very strong acid, so we wouldn't expect to start with the protonation, especially since who's the reactive atom here? Who's our reactive atom? Oh, yeah, we have to recognize that any time an oxygen is bonded to a sodium, this is really an ionic bond. So we generally would be starting by fo focusing on this oxygen. Yeah, so we could have this uh, simply attack uh, as a nucleophile. Give us this. Can it just come down now? Yeah, let's see what the arrows would look like for that. That sounds like a good suggestion. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. And this won't take us too much time. Now this is what we get, right? I remember why we didn't do that before. Because it was in a living group? You know, because we were in a acidic condition. And it was formed a minus, okay. That's right, so that's a key idea. Um, under acidic conditions, you could not form a negative intermediate like this. But now we're under basic conditions, so it's okay to form a negative intermediate. Now this is a terrible leaving group. This is a very poor leaving group. Normally we would not expect this to be a leaving group at all. However, remember that we are going to see some cases now where O minus can be a leaving group, and the reason is the driving force is reforming this carbonyl. The driving force for uh, pushing off this terrible leaving group is reforming this carbonyl over here. So even though in the first semester of OCHEM we would not have had O minus leaving groups to reform a carbonyl, we're allowed to do that. Um, there was a, it, when you do the aldol condensation, there's also a step where you push off an O minus. So we're seeing a bunch of cases now where you can push off an O minus. But you can only push off an O minus under basic conditions, not under acidic conditions.